Hello, everybody. My name is Chloe, and I'm here with my friend Kathleen from For the Love of Books. And today we are here with the Once Upon a Read Along Book of the Month live show for August. Um, and as you can see, it was Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This was a July release. Um, so this is what we read in August, and now we're going to be discussing it. So for the first couple of minutes, we're going to do our non-spoiler initial thoughts. And then after that, we are going to go into more spoilers. So if you haven't read this book, then I suggest not watching the rest of this. Um, if you don't care about spoilers, then go ahead and stick around. Would you like to go ahead and start? Sure. Um, so I was excited about this book. Um, I've never actually read a Little Mermaid retelling, not that I remember. Um, but I never, I know for a fact that I never read one that was based off of like um, The Sea Witch from Little Mermaid. So I was interested going into this book. Um, I do have to say I was really let down. Um, I haven't rated on Goodreads yet, but I think I'm gonna give it a 2.5 stars. Uh, it's not that I hated, I think the book was interesting at the end, uh, but mostly the book was really, really boring. And I struggled to, to force myself to read it. And I felt like it honestly reminded me uh, of my reading experience of uh, We Were Liars because I was waiting for the book yeah. to get the point because I felt like this book had no point. Um, but the the like the last 50 pages was really interesting. Um, but that was the only part. I, 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 I don't know how I feel about this book like because I, I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't like it either. So um, I'm sticking with my 2.5 stars. It's it's interesting. I do like that they kind of made the sea witch like almost like the good person, and they kind of switched roles where the Little Mermaid. Well, obviously there's a sec. We'll, we'll get to that. But where they they kind of switch role where the Little Mermaid kind of comes across as good, but then she's not good, and then the the little the the sea witch is almost kind i don't know but it was it was really interesting for that aspect but besides that the book would just didn't live up to my expectations of it i'm like tweeting really quick go ahead um and then there's the group chat um ah okay um so most of my thoughts are very similar to yours actually um, I ended up giving this three stars, and for a while when I was reading it, it was going to be a two, just because I was bored with it and I didn't, I, I didn't get it. Um, but then, like you said, like the last like fifty to hundred pages were kind of what gave it that like bump up a little bit to a three, and it ended up just being okay. Um, I really, really wanted to like this more. I really did, um, but it just ended up being okay, and I'm okay with that. And it's really not what I expected it to be. Um, I, I, I don't exactly know what I expected, but this was not it. Um, so it ended up just being a three stars. It was just okay. Um, that's that's basically all my initial thoughts. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess now we're going to go into um, spoilery thoughts. So... If you don't like spoilers, then click away. Um, so what should we start with? I it's been like a week or a week and a half since I finished this book. You finished it earlier or more recent than I did recently. Um I I kinda like the dynamic that um that the sea witch was a good person. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to be very vague about it in yeah. <laughs> in the non-spoilery section mm -hmm. um i do like that she was kind of like the the nice person you know she was trying to help out someone else and mm -hmm. you know she became when she became the sea witch she didn't necessarily become really evil like we're used to like in the movie um and i'm assuming the little mermaid at the very end is ariel but this whole time when i was mm -hmm. reading the book i thought the little mermaid was anna mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me so this whole time when I was reading, I, I really liked the, the kind of like the roles reverse where the sea witch is nice, but the little mermaid is evil because she ends up betraying them. Mm -hmm. so I really, I really like that aspect. What did you think? Um, well, I agree that, that the end, I think that's supposed to be Ariel. Um, 
I will say the I the prologue when we when I was first reading the prologue, I was really confused because I was like, why are we going back and forth on who's dying? Like right. they went like back and forth like two or three times. Um, as I I did like <laughs> how it ended up working out, especially once we got when we had the flashbacks too, um, which kind which tells the the Anna side of the story. I thought um, <laughs> I I kept noticing throughout the the reading whenever that octopus was brought up i was like that they're gonna merge somehow <laughs> I and didn't, I ended up, what i didn't i didn't make that connection until it happened and i was like oh that's yeah because cool. then it's kept it kept coming up and i was like okay this is really really relevant and i ended up being right um so i think hmm, i don't know how to how to de describe it i do think anna was like well, I guess Anne met at that point. She was way too, like, extra for, like, we didn't let you die on purpose. Like, something like that. Um, like, that's, I guess that's the thing that kind of disappointed me most of all. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like her betrayal kind of came on suddenly. Yeah. Like, I, I, I get that she's trying to do, like, a, like, um, like, what's it called? Um. A plot twist mm -hmm. uh, but I just felt like it was very unnatural and it mm -hmm. just like honestly it just came out of nowhere and I was just like really in the fact that she she thinks that they did it on purpose and I'm just like maybe yeah. he saved you know the sea witch or whatever her name I forget her name now I, maybe he saved her first because she was right there first you know it's not like he meant to mm -hmm. save her first because he loves her more than you it's not yeah you know maybe she was within reach a lot closer than than anna was and that's why mm -hmm. she came for her second i don't know i really wanted to like this book because when i see for her revenge was just very all over the place it didn't make any mm -hmm. sense at all yeah when we had, like i knew at the beginning of this book i was really really scared that i wasn't gonna like it and just be like, I can't finish it. But I knew I had to finish it. Um, so I I felt like it was kind of one of those like get it over with things. But then it started to get like to get a little bit more interesting. Um, not a lot, but but enough. Cause I didn't really I didn't really think about like about her starting on land and being a witch on land first. And then until until um and Met showed up, I didn't think this was really a Little Mermaid retelling at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, another thing that I felt like came on suddenly that just like was out of nowhere mm -hmm. was um, Eker, whatever his name is. I was, I was just looking for his name too. Eker, like the fact that he just like Anna says, oh, hey, by the way, she's a witch. Why mm -hmm. are you looking at me for being um, um, a mermaid? She's a witch right here. And then like, it's like it's like the switch on him flips, and he's mm -hmm. automatically against, uh, God, I got it. What's her name? Evie. Evie. Like, and it's, it's like he doesn't even yeah. question that. He's like, wait a second. Um, are you lying to me? Because this whole time he's been like, she's lying to you. She's deceiving you. And she says, witch and points to Evie, and automatically he believes her. Like, that's the one thing that he believes her. And I'm just like, yeah, what? Why? Why? That was just like, that was just so weird. Like, the fact that he just, like, he turned on Evie that fast. Mm -hmm. And I actually kind of liked him. Yes. Until, until that happened. Like, I was alright with him. I do believe that his, like, for the longest time, I do believe his, his feelings were genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, when, during the dance where he has to, uh, during the ball, He they had to have their first dance, and whoever they danced with first yeah. was like important. And when he didn't choose her, I was like, oh no. But mm -hmm. then he gave the excuse that, oh, his mother chose for him, and then he didn't yeah. have a choice. I believed him. But then when he ch just turned on her that fast, I was like, I was, I was really doubting myself. And I was just like, mm -hmm. and the fact that we don't even know whether his feelings were genuine or not, kind of. Yeah. Is I, I wish we did know. Um, in the epilogue, first of all, I was surprised the epilogue ended up being that long. Yeah. Uh, if I can find it. Um, 
I was I was kind of sad. I mean, I know it says 50 years later, but I was kind of sad when um when she's like my people are long gone and um and like Nick Nick was I think he's dead at this point. Yeah. Um he said that he lived he lived uh, the life that she wanted. He like got married. He had kids. And yeah. remember the Little Mermaid? She's going to, uh, she's in love with his great grandson or something like that. See, fifty years doesn't feel like that long. Like, how do you already have a great grandson, or is it's it a great, a regular great grandson? grandson or a grandson? Oh, it's it's grandson, grandson. Um, and like, and uh, Eker, Iker, whatever is dead too. Yeah. He um. Died. Like on a, on a boat or something. Yeah. Um. Did you like? So did you picture her like as like as she was just with the tentacles, or did you picture her like Ursula from The Little Mermaid? Wait, picture who? Uh, Evie after she became the sea witch. I picture after she became the sea witch. I pictured her not as like the movies, mm -hmm. not as the movie where she's like big. I was. But I didn't imagine her with the tentacles. It was weird, though. Yeah. I wonder how she, like, where did, I just saw it. Like, the people are, yeah, the people are frightened of her. And I'm wondering, like, was that just a sudden thing or did, did it grow over the time? I think it says that over time, the rumors here, about her got worse. Here it says, the Sea King knows of the magic I've done, of the Black Death, and then the famine. Um... And he also knows of me and his and met memories of her resurfing when my name is spoken. Okay, so apparently it's the same king. Yeah. Okay, so it's the same king. I didn't know about that. It says somewhere that um, uh, see, it says on page 334, it says mm -hmm. the mer people are afraid of me. Time yeah. heals build upon each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking right at that, too. Yeah, so basically rumors. I was a little surprised. So um, uh, I can't remember. I think it was in a flashback when, she, like, right after she had been saved um, that she's, like, she's trying to do something and, like, the, the water around her, like, boils a little bit and the the little minnows or fish or whatever, or, like, fry up. I like, I thought it was a really interesting connection that she was the cause of of that black death that was going on. Yeah, I, I was I was surprised by that too. That was like basically she caused it, but she was the one trying to save it. Yeah, because she, she didn't know that she was first. Doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which makes sense because at the very they keep saying throughout the, the book that in order to bring back a life, you need to give a life, mm -hmm. and her mother, but. But she was dying, and her mother. Oh, because she. I guess because she. She tried to save her mother again, and it almost worked. And that's what's caused the plague. Uh, what in the prologue when she tried to save when she was okay, saving so her mother? They, I remember them saying that she was the cause for the plague because of yeah. what she did when her mother died. So her mother gave her life so she could live because she was dying. But mm -hmm. she remember at the very beginning she tried to save her mother too. Yeah, she almost succeeded. She almost succeeded. So she was. Um, I think that's what caused the play. That's the fact that she almost. It almost worked. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I'm going back to the prologue and looking. Um, yeah, I really liked the the connections that were made, such as such as that one, throughout the book. But I, that's really the only thing I liked. I think. I thought it was interesting, but. I don't know, you think for like a bad, like not necessarily a bad book, but like a book you didn't like as much, you have all these things to talk about, and now I don't. Uh, usually when I, I dislike a book, I, I I talk about it more. I need to come more prepared to these things. You always say that, and it never happens. Yeah. And well, you I, was like, I guess it works for me because I always read it last minute. And you read yeah. it beforehand, and you forget what you read. You like forget the little details. Because then I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Yeah. Um, I can't remember when I picked this up. I think, oh, I picked this up after I finished Love, Fortunes, and Other Disasters. So like that week after we came back from Universal, mm. I picked it up. So that, 
That was like two weeks ago. But I finished it sometime that week. That's not bad. Um, One thing, I, I do wish that this book was set centered more on the sea instead of being on land. Yeah, I... <laughs> Although you can, I, I guess because this is like, this is almost like a, the origin of the Sea Witch, I would understand why she would start off on land. But I don't know. It was a, it was an yeah. interesting take on the, the beginning of the Sea Witch. See, but I would have thought that it would have been like she, st she started off as a mermaid or some garbage like that. Yeah. Um, were, you, um, were you surprised that Nick loved her all, all along? Yes and no. I thought he would like he would like Anne Met and like oh she'd get to stay on land, um, but then w when it was towards the end when he was like asking about her and and Iker that sounds so weird Iker Iker whatever, um, then then I started to think that that um, he liked her instead. Well, um, I was always suspicious. Uh, throughout the book, I was always suspicious because he would always make sure that she, he would always look to her first, even mm -hmm. with, uh, Anna there. Yeah. Uh, or yeah. when uh, when Anna first got there and they were talking about how they kissed, um, she, um, Evie, Evie and I could kissed and she, they were talking about whether she and Nick kissed. And Anna said that she didn't, and uh, she said that I guess Nick was holding back. And I was always interested in why Nick didn't kiss Anna. Mm -hmm. And then when he started asking Evie about the fact that she and Iker kiss, and I was like, oh, he definitely likes her. Like it was just like little things. I was very suspicious. Um, I partially in the in the epilogue, I expected when when she was taking um. When she was help, helping that girl, I thought it was going to be more like the original story where, like, in the original story, um, it's not magic that takes her voice. It, uh, she cuts out her tongue. So I expected that instead of this. I remember the original story. Really? Well, yes. In, in the original story. So the part of the original story is told in this. In the original story, it's not magic that takes her voice. Uh, the sea witch cuts out her tongue. Um, so she can't talk. Yeah. And then it, I've never read it, but I've read like summaries of it. And then um, the one thing that was acknowledged in this book is if you don't have true love's kiss after X amount of days, you turn into sea foam. Yeah. Um, but I expected the tongue to be cut out for some reason. But it was just, nope, just take the voice. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if, if the sea witch is going to be like, be like Ursula and be like, I'm going to use your voice to sing and win the guy for myself. I don't know. I was just making predictions and then it ended, so. I was just like, I didn't really like it. I like that they, they included the actual Little Mermaid, like Ariel. Mm -hmm. I got that she made an appearance, but I don't know. I don't really like the ending of the book. I was really confused. I'm kind of skimming it right now. <laughs> visit your family one last time like yeah she tells them to visit the family uh she gives her the gown to make sure that she's dressed for when she goes up oh uh, this person she will fail he loves another that mountain will not move in toward it who was that again wasn't it like the it was like the voice of somebody that's what I was confused I think she gave the voice because she starts talking to Anna and I think it's Anna so she gave Anna. Anna the voice. So that's what I was so confused. I was like, this whole ending, I'm just like, mm. What's a polypi? P-O-L-Y-P-I. I think it's a type of plant. It says the last body to drift below. So now I'm just like, is it a dead body? I'm going to look it up. Um... Just says plural form of polypus, uh, archaic or technical term for poly. Just tell me what it is. Um, so a solitary or colonial sedentary form of a colon turret, such as a oh, so, so it's like a something like a sea anemone. 
Okay. Um, so, like, hmm. Maybe that's, like, her equivalent of, like, the the eel things that in the movie. Okay. Here's my other thing. So, The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney princess movie. And um, I really, that's why I really, really wanted to like this. Because, you know, I love the retellings, too. And this is what I get. <laughs> I have heard good things about um, the surface breaks, though. I can't remember who that's by. Um, but I also ha heard somewhat good things about the Seafarer's Kiss, and I read, like, a chapter of that and was like, I don't want to read this anymore. So maybe I need to try the surface breaks. I don't know. I've only read, like, one Little Mermaid retelling that, like, I, I most of all, like, for the majority liked. Um, but it's been a long time since I've read it, so I can't really remember. Yeah. Also, why doesn't the library classify this as fantasy? Why is it automatically just romance? Like, I get it, but that should be a fantasy. Oh, is it? That's yeah. Funny. That should be a fantasy sticker. That's hilarious. Yeah. <coughs> I, I, I got nothing. I'm hungry. That's all I got. But what you got? <laughs> I feel like this is every live show, Chloe. I feel like this is the shortest live show. If we stop no, now, this would be the shortest. Every night, we usually finish talking about 20 minutes into the live show. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like, like okay, so I, I used to think that live shows had to be like an hour to two hours long. I don't think that not, anymore. Not with two hostesses. Not with yeah. two hostesses. No. Because it's different for like book explosion when they have three people, or like even for um for for you guys at Biblio Squad, you guys have what four people or five people? We have four, four people. So like, when well, you got two people, you just gotta bounce back and forth here. Um, but like, see, I like our little like half hour, forty five minute live shows. Like, it needs to be long. Did you say it needs to be long? I said it doesn't need to be long. Oh yeah, see, it's like it's like keep it short and sweet. That that's what it is. Um. So I'm, yeah. I'm really glad I didn't actually buy this book. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm unhauling this. You're going to unhaul it already? Yeah, I'm going to unhaul it. Because I, it just like, I don't know, just like the, the tiny details that piss me off. And mm -hmm. just like, I, I don't hate the book by any means. It's. Mm. I bet you could sell it on the buy, sell, trade group. Get your money back at least. Yeah, I'll try. But. That's what I did. Because like when I sold that box set of Shadow and Bone, I priced it to where I would get my money back and be able to pay for shipping. I think I sold, I, I bought it for like 25 or 26 and I sold it for 30. I think. I don't know. Surprised. Because it's used. I never touched it. Oh, it was in brand new condition? Yeah. The only thing I didn't have was the box that it came in. It's poor. Is it raining there? It's raining here. No, it's not. Not here. It it's kind of boring. Uh, so you want to finish up? Yeah, I'm hungry, and I gotta film. I gotta film two videos. Eat. Did I tell you about an HDMI cable I want to try it out? <laughs> I oh, this this is like uh, totally unrelated, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So I at Will's house, I plugged in my laptop to the H to the HDMI cable, and I was I was typing some stuff while he was finishing up some work. And I was typing for my work in progress on the TV, and it was so awesome. And I just really enjoyed it. Anyway, so um, any final thoughts on Sea Witch by Sarah Henning? Um, it's okay. I read the, actually, I went to Goodreads and I read some reviews, mm -hmm. and it seems like the majority of people are giving it like three stars. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are think are liking it, but they're thinking it's very average. Um, yeah. I've seen a couple of five star ratings, but for the most part, it's all three stars. Mm -hmm. it, so a lot of people are not impressed with the book. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you watching, I would recommend doing what Chloe did and just borrowing it from the library. Mm -hmm. um, if you're really that interested in it, I yeah, I personally would not recommend this. It's it, unless you're you're a true Die Hard, Little Mermaid fan like Chloe. Um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read this. It's interesting enough. But, but even then, I didn't want to buy it. Yeah, but even then, I just uh, I don't recommend it. It's it's uh, yeah. 
it's it's just there's a lot of plot holes and there's a lot of um mm -hmm. things that happen that make no sense and the plot twist yeah it was interesting but it didn't feel like a natural plot twist i feel like plot twist should add more to the plot and really like be like oh my god this happened and to me it just left me really confused and i was just like why why is this happening um like there's no natural thought process to this plot twist so yeah i wouldn't recommend it but if you're like i said if you're really 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 interested um yeah go ahead it's it's a quick read it's interesting enough um if you get through the first like 150 pages of it because the beginning part was really boring but yeah i was gonna say i hope you didn't spend too much money on this i think it was like 10 11 dollars on amazon that's not bad so it's not terrible mm -hmm. um so three stars i i really have nothing <laughs> left to say um so we'll go ahead and discuss september um we still have one two three, five days left in september cat your birthday's in a week i know hey uh, your birthday's in a week desiree's is in two weeks mine's in like three weeks three or four weeks so, why is everybody born in september all right anyway so our september book of the month is gonna be it actually it's a 2017 release i believe um but neither of us has re have read it and i'm super excited and it is eliza and her monsters by francesca zapia um i'm excited about this because it's a contemporary that i've been wanting to read for a while now um, and our live show for this is going to be on Sunday, September 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on this channel. So make sure to follow us on Twitter at Once Read Along, um, which is linked down in the description below, for updates about the live show, reading this book, um, anything like that. And I hope you guys will join us next month for this book. Um, so that is all we have for the Sea Witch live show today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye.